So my dream of conquering Hollywood and becoming a world-renowned actress is finally beginning! Today is my first casting! Oh boy, I hope it runs smoothly. Now I just have to change my clothes. I heard that Jenny Sinclair is here too. She's bound to get the main role, as her billionaire dad is too influential for her to not to. Ugh, you mean Jenny? The talentless eye candy? She's nothing special. Her dad's loaded, and it's rumored her mom is a famous actress. But after giving birth to her, she abandoned her for a movie role. This is so unfair. How are we meant to compete with some rich girl with a paternal sob story? <sighs> yes, I'm Jenny Sinclair, the daughter of billionaire Rod Sinclair, and the rumored daughter of a mysterious famous actress. People think growing up in wealth means my life is super easy. Wrong! My dad refuses to talk to me about my mother, hence even I myself don't know who she is, and dad is also completely against my acting dreams. You see, I definitely needed to win this role on talent. Then they'd all take me seriously. It's almost my turn. I'm so nervous. The movie's called The Servant, so the main role is for the part of this maid, and Mrs. Sharma, a veteran actress who had just come back from Hollywood, will play the role of the ruthless mistress. Ah, this is it. Fingers crossed I don't forget my lines. Next, Jennifer Sinclair. Ignoring the buzzing gossip behind me, I confidently stepped onto the stage and smiled at Mrs. Sharma. She seemed a little surprised when she saw me. Fetch me a cup of chamomile tea. I was walking with the tray when, oops, I tripped and fell, and the cup shattered across the floor. You incompetent girl, you do realize that cup was worth more than you are? Huh? This wasn't in the script. Stunned, I just stood there with a confused look on my face. Poof, Miss Sinclair, how are you supposed to be an actress when your reactions are this abysmal? Acting is also about improvisation. Not just learning the script by heart, young lady. Jenny, you clearly didn't do your research, as you're clueless about this character. I regained my composure, hurriedly apologized to Miss Sharma, and begged the director to let me try one more time. I don't have time for this. How can a young girl who was born with a silver spoon in her mouth ever understand the life of a maid? Please leave. Other contestants are waiting. So, my dream casting became a nightmare. Ugh, it felt like the whole world was laughing at me. Miss, please get up. You need to eat something. Please don't be down. There'll be plenty of other opportunities. No, that was my big chance and I blew it. Lucas Hemingworth hates me. That basically means the whole industry will now shun me. Oh, him. My aunt's his housekeeper and she said he's a horror to work for. He's fired five housekeepers within the last month, and now nobody dares apply. Don't let him get you down. Everybody knows how obnoxious he is. Did you just say Lucas Hemingworth is looking for a maid, and you know the housekeeper there? Um, that's right, but this is the perfect way to show him that I'm not just a pretty face. I might seem like a spoiled rich girl. I sure still can play the role of a maid better than anyone else. Please help me, or else I'll go on a hunger strike. I, I, before she had a chance to reply, I grabbed the glass of milk and glugged it all in one breath. Okay then, we have the deal now? Hey, it's me, Jenny. I pass for a maid now, right? Remember what I told you, and never set foot in the master's working room without being asked. Now go to the warehouse and get me the box of Christmas decorations. Ugh. This box was so heavy. Suddenly I bumped into something, and as I fell, all of the Christmas decorations scattered across the floor. Huh? What was beneath me? Oh no, I was lying on top of someone. Oh my god, it was Lucas. I quickly got off him and apologized, but he just tutted at me then walked off. I was feeling dumbfounded as I picked up the decorations when this girl approached me. You're the new maid, huh? Don't think that being pretty means you can seduce my dad to become a famous actress or something. Here's a piece of advice. Don't even dream about it. From now on, this maid serves me and only me. What a bummer. 
It was only my first day and I'd already got on the wrong side of Lily, the director's daughter. She already had a reputation in the modeling world for her extremely unpleasant personality. And indeed, from that day on, whenever she was home, she spent every second of her time tormenting me. Once, Lily asked me to bring her a cup of hot tea, but as soon as I put the tea tray down, she immediately changed her mind. She wanted her tea to be cool instead, so I had to stand fanning the cup for half an hour. Then on another occasion, she ordered me to stand by the pool in the midday heat holding a tray of fruit. Then after each lap, she made me feed her a piece. It's not surprising I ended up with heat stroke and fell into the pool, which must have been extremely funny to Lily. Ugh. Well, she who laughs today may weep tomorrow. The next day, while watering the roses in the backyard, I caught sight of Lily acting out the part of the maid in front of her father through the living room's window. It seemed that she wanted to take the lead role in the movie too. I think you should just focus on your commercial advertising projects. You haven't learned the lines, and your fake crying is terrible. Do you even know which book this movie is adapted from? Then he just left, leaving her with her tantrum. At that moment, Lily caught me standing there laughing. So, as punishment, she ordered me to clean every single book in the library. Ugh! Whatever. I liked books anyway. Standing on the ladder cleaning, I happened to see the original copy of The Servant, the book the play is based on. I took it off the shelf, when suddenly, the sound of the door opening startled me. I quickly put the book back and tried to climb down the ladder, but then I misplaced my footing and... Ah! Firm hands grabbed my waist and guided me onto my feet. They were wearing a hoodie, mask, and sunglasses. OMG, had a thief just saved me? Who are you? How did you get in? This is trespassing. Do you realize whose house you're trying to rob? And you, do you know who you're talking to? Thief, ridiculous. Then he pulled down his hood and took off his sunglasses and mask. Oh god, it was Jack Jerome, the hottest actor on the scene right now. Before I could react, Lily's high-pitched scream startled us both. Jack, you're here! It's so exciting that you're staying with us for the next few months. I'm such a huge fan. To Lily's dismay, Jack ignored her, then coldly walked out of the room. So... Turns out Jack's been cast as the male lead in The Servant, and to avoid adding to his already scandalous past and thus affecting the movie, Lucas insisted he stay here during filming. Anyway, even though I didn't like Jack at all, at least him being around meant Lily was too busy clinging onto him to pester me. These days, I often take advantage of the late night cleaning time to study the original book. The last audition is coming up, and I have to understand my character better than anyone else. I was cleaning the kitchen while reading, when suddenly I heard footsteps. Hmm, who could it be at this time? So, you like this book? It's confusing though, right? Are you suggesting a mere maid like me isn't smart enough to understand it? I have no idea why you're cast as the warm, kind-natured, sincere part of Alfred. You're clearly the opposite of him. It's called acting, sweetheart. So are you saying an actor must be exactly like their character in real life? Then shouldn't you be more cautious, since I just played a murdering lunatic in my last movie? He's really unpleasant. Arguing with someone as arrogant as him was pointless. I'd just taken a few steps when I slipped over, but Jack reached out and grabbed my shirt tail, which helped save me from falling flat on the ground. It caused my shirt to tear. I blushed in embarrassment and tried to fix it. Here, have this, he said, as he quickly took off his jacket and placed it around my shoulders. At that moment, out of nowhere, Lily appeared. On seeing her, Jack hurriedly left the kitchen. She stormed over to me and yanked his shirt off me. What now? Changing your target already? But let me remind you, you're just some dumb maid. Jack's mine? Oh, poor Lily. You delusional girl! I'm not interested in Jack, but it doesn't take more than a glance to tell he's not remotely interested in her. Because of yesterday's incident, Lily made me wake up at 4am to bake probably all kinds of cakes that exist on Earth. 
I had just finished decorating the last batch when she rushed into the kitchen, snatched the apron and gloves off me, then put them on. I didn't have time to understand what was happening when Jack walked in and she quickly held the plate out to him. Have a bite! I got up early to make it for you. What a fake! Jack was about to pop a piece of cake into his mouth when I realized it was almond. He's allergic to them! Stop! That cake has almonds in it! Here, have this one. He took the cake, then winked at me before he walked off. Yeah, his personality sucks, but... Oh boy, how to resist that strong jawline and those beautiful deep eyes? Mm. Naturally, Lily was furious, so she forced me to make tea. But no matter how much she knocked on Jack's door, he wouldn't open it for her. So she angrily threw the tea tray on the ground and yelled for me to clean it up. Oh my, it was such a mess. The carpet was tea stained and there were bits of chipped china everywhere. I started picking up the pieces when, ouch, he cut my hand. Jack immediately opened the door. Then on seeing my bleeding hand, he quickly led me into his room and helped me bandage the cut. I didn't know he had this warm side to him. How surprising. This weekend, the director's having a small gathering for the film cast and crew so my time was taken up with the preparation for this. Now I was confident to say that I had fully understood what it's like to be a servant, there's no housework that I hadn't tried. I also accidentally lied to the housekeeper that I used to be a bartender, so she assigned the cocktail making to me. I was trying to get my head around the recipe of a cosmopolitan when Jack walked in. Pretty good, but perhaps it needs a little more cranberry juice. You want the Mary, not passing out. <laughs> I know all the guests coming, so I can give you hints on what cocktails to serve them. That's a good thing. I could ask him more about my future co-stars. The two of us talked passionately about wine, cocktails, and the servant book. Hmm, turns out he's actually quite sweet, and nothing at all like those ego-driven swine the press portray him as. While talking and drinking, I felt a little dizzy. Suddenly Jack approached me. Actually, I find you quite captivating so you can quit playing around now. Playing around? Huh? You think I like you? You're drunk. I was about to leave when Jack stopped me. You're always falling over in front of me. You remember my almond allergy? You're reading the book I'm cast as the lead in. If you don't like me, how come you've been with me this whole time? I looked at Jack confused. Honestly, every time I faced him, I felt my heart skip. Seeing me blushing, Jack gently lifted my chin and placed a sweet kiss on my lips. Right then, a scream made me jump and almost fell over again. Ah! Oh, what on earth are you two doing? I frantically ran out of the kitchen, leaving Lily screaming behind me. I sat outside by the pool until I regained my composure. That was unexpected. My first kiss was with Jack, the scandalous actor I hated the most. Hmm, I think I needed to leave before things became even more complicated. After composing myself, I went back to my room to start packing. I saw my clothes were thrown across the ground and there, sitting on my bed with a smug look on her face, was Lily. She waved my passport and script in her hand. Jenny Sinclair, it appears I know your secret. How humble of you to lower yourself to play a maid just to get a movie role. Imagine the scandal if the press found out about this. No one would dare to cooperate with a snake like you. I angrily grabbed my things back, but it didn't work. Lily even pulled out her phone to film and threaten me. Do what I say, else this video goes viral. Then not only will your daddy dearest know you've been scrubbing toilets all day, but imagine the damage your lies will do to his precious reputation. Ugh! She was messing with the wrong girl. My method acting experience was over. I was done being her puppet. It's time she realized who's the true master of this game.